So finally, this arrived. Get ready. Um, Fly DG Scorpion D1. Um, it's a keyboard and converter in one. It's a lot heavier than the generic 100 keyboard, and it's um, it's really well made. So this is the box that came with it, and it has um, USB Type C to Type C and a regular USB and this one it's the same as this um, it's a cell phone stand and there's also a manual it says in the website where I bought this it has a 2000 milliamp battery so I bought this in Lazada I bought it for around 2,799 so it's roughly 2,800 pesos and then the build quality is good and it has weight on it it's heavy than the um, conventional or generic one-handed keyboard uh, let me show you the side-by-side -side comparison of this Fly DG Scorpion D1 with the conventional um, 100 keyboard. So that is the side by side comparison of the Fly DG Scorpion D1 to the conventional or generic um, 100 keyboard. So as you can see, this one is a little bit smaller than the generic 100 keyboard, and this is light. And this is heavy. It's really, it's not that heavy, heavy, but it's this one is heavy, heavier than this one. This one is very light in weight, and this one is heavy. As you can see, this is the space bar. It acts as a jump for PUBG Mobile, COD Mobile, or other FPS games. And this one will be also the jump or the space bar. So it will be like this. In 100 keyboard, it's like this. But in Flight DGD1, it's like this. And it has other um, buttons here. This Flight DG Scorpion D1 has a rubbery feel on this area. As you can see here, it's matte black it's rubbery it's a rubbery feel and also on this WASD button it's also kind of rubbery and it has um, added three three buttons uh, four buttons so G1 2 3 and 4 so this is the the mouse port where you insert your mouse so this is the mouse, the mouse port the USB port the USB port is used for charging and on the left side this is the on, on and off button the Bluetooth and this is the for light for light if the scorpion if the scorpion d1 is connected to the to your phone it will have a steady blue light here and if it's connecting it's um, it's a blinking blue light so the added button the g1 to g4 and g3 um, it will be like this so this tool helps a lot because you can easily reach it by your thumb and also this one but G2 is kind of far 
So, this one is, this two will be easy reach from you, by your thumb. So by the way, bef before you turn on the Bluetooth and connect the Scorpion D1, you have to go first to the Fly DJ Game Center app. So in connecting Fly DJ Scorpion D1 for the first time, after you turn on your Bluetooth, just go here on Fly DJ Game Center app and let's add the Fly DJ Scorpion D1. Okay, then open your um, Scorpion D1. So, it detects it. So, there you go. It's connected. So, first you have to open the Fly DG Game Center app. And then, go to add the gamepad. The Scorpion D1 gamepad and after you add the Scorpion D1 gamepad turn on the Bluetooth and let it connect and you should use the flash play mode and if there is an upgrade just click on this one and as you can see there's an data upgrade so let's upgrade this and wait for it to connect after that you have click confirm and wait for it click pair and connect allow pair and that's it and you can start playing your game the reason why i bought the fly dg scorpion d1 was because i'm hoping that the mouse look around will be smooth it's i'm hoping that it's it it will be 60 fps smooth but unfortunately i'm sorry to tell you guys that the mouse look around is the same as the fly dg q1 see there's a dragging motion when i um turning left and right so as you can see there's a dragging motion so it's not a 60 fps smooth movement so I'm just hoping that it will be um, a 60 fps smooth since this Scorpion D1 is um, way 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 um, expensive than the IDG Q1 but that's how it is but when you look uh, but when you use the WASD button it's um, it's smooth it's it's 60 FPS smooth but when you look around it's like 20 FPS only it's not smooth if you're having doubts what to choose if it's either Fly DG Q1 or Fly DG D1, if you have a um, if you have a mouse and keyboard, just choose the Fly DG Q1 because it's it's the key mapping is very identical. So the difference in key mapping is this: the G1, G2, G3, G4. Because Fly DG Q1 don't have the G1. G2, G3, G4. So that's the only difference. But the um, process of key mapping is very identical to Fly DG Q1. So Fly DG Q1 and Scorpion D1, the key mapping process is identical. So when you're using Q1 and you decided to use um, Fly DG Scorpion 1, um, when you decide to use the Fly DG Scorpion D1, you don't need to set it up again so whatever key map you made in Q1 you can also use that on your um, Scorpion D1 so it's just plug and play so as you can see oh, oh. Wait, as you can see it's the look around is kinda laggy it's 20 FPS smooth So 
So once again, this is the look around for Fly DG um, Scorpion D1. And this is when in scope. Here's the mouse look around in COD Mobile. So it's the same as the Fly DGQ one. So in order for you to save your um, presets or your key map saves in the um, game uh, in the Fly DG Game Center, just open this config management, and let's say you want to save this Q1 CODBR2. Just click on edit and select it and click upload. So since I have um, since I already have a copy of this, let's just click confirm. So what it does is is if ever the um, if ever your key mapping save or preset is lost. You can go here to FlyDG Game Center app and you can download it config and you click the cloud configuration. You can see here the saves that you have and you can download it here. So just click on edit and you can download whatever um, saves that you like. And you can click on download and you can and it will automatically download it. So by the way, the 20 FPS ish uh, mouse look around movement is you can't notice it when you're playing it on your cell phone or your cell phone, but you'll really notice it when you play it on the mo bigger monitor, like 40 inches monitor or 24 inches monitor. So, but if you have a keen eye. Keen eye, keen eye. You'll notice, you will notice it even if you're playing on your cell phone. So that's it. So the verdict, will I recommend this? If you have the money and if you have money to spare, and then yes, and because be this, um, this also a great buy. Even though the mouse look around is not that 60 FPS move. But and also it's two in one, it's converter and a keyboard all at the same time. So but if you don't have any money to spare and you have um keyboard with you then you can go ahead and choose the Fly DJ Q1. Fly DJ Q1 and Fly DJ Scorpion D1 has both the same key mapping process but well, it's all the same but the only um, but the only difference is that this is a keyboard and converter while the Fly DJ Q1 is only a converter so it's only a preference on what you would like to choose if you have uh, more money to spend then choose the Fly DJ Scorpion D1 but if you have a limited budget you can choose the Fly DJ Q1 it's so that's it and I hope you like this video and you learned something from both of the converters please do subscribe for more um, gaming tutorials and reviews like this one and more of a do-it-yourself or DIY um, tutorials so that's it and hope you have a great day and see you again on my next vlog peace peace Ready?